Good morning students, this is Vosha CBSC Max 10th standard 5th lesson arithmetic progression exercise 5.1 ok. So in this exercise we are going to do the 4th sum which of the following are AP arithmetic progression and if they form an AP find the common difference D and write 3 more terms ok. So this is your question you have given 15 of questions. So I have written 8 questions here. So in this video you can do I think 8 sums. If not I will continue in the next video. Okay. So what is your first sum? The first sum is very easy. 2, 4, that is 8, 16. Okay. So first question. Which of the following is or AP? So first one there. Uh, you have to find out whether it is AP or not. Okay. So, what is the condition for AP or not? Whether it is C, AP, it is added by a fixer number, whether it is. So, what is the condition for that students? If second term minus first term equal to third term minus second term. If it is equal, then you can say it is form an AP. Okay, so this is a formula for that. What is, so you are going to find subtract second term and first term, third term and second term. Okay, so in this question, what is your first term? This is A1, A2, A3, and A4. Okay, so what is your A2 minus A1? So, A2 is 4 minus 2. So, you get 2 plus 2. So, what is your A3? A3 minus A2. A3 is 8 minus 4. So, here 8 minus 4 is 4. See students, is this equal? No, this is not equal. A2 minus A1 is not equal. A3 minus A2. So, this series, this following series, this series, not an AP. So this is your first answer. Understand students? So now you go to the second sum. Second sum is 2, 5 by 2, 3 and 7 by 2. So, so here A1, this is A1, A2, A3 and A4. Okay, so first you find the value of A2 minus A1. So A2 is 5 by 2 minus 2. So how will you subtract students? You can take cross multiplication. It is easy for that. So this is 5. 2 to are 4. In, in the denominator it is 2. So you get 1 by 2. Okay. So what is A3 minus A2? A3 minus A2. A3 is 3 minus A2. So that is 5 by 2. So again cross multiply. 3 2 so 6 minus 5. 1 5 so 5. Denominator 2. So this is 5. 6 minus 5 is 2. 1 by 2. Okay. So here in the sum A2 minus A1 is equal to A3 minus A2. So both are equal. That for this forms an AP. This series forms an forms and AP okay so it is so if they form an AP find the common difference D and write three more terms okay students so what is in the series first term is 2 what is your common difference here you found the common difference A2 minus A1 equal to 1 by 2 okay students so D is 1 by 2 you have find three more terms here. So this is A4 is. So you have to find A5, A6 and A7. So how will you find A5 students? A5 to find A4 plus D. A6, A5 plus D. A7, A6 plus D. So what is your A4? A4 it is given that is 7 by 2 plus D is 1 by 2. So, here it is 1 by 2. So, 8 by 2. If you cancel, you get 4. 
If you cancel, you get 4. Then A5. So what is your A5? A5 is 4 plus D. That is 2. Okay, cross multiply 8 plus 1, 9 by 2. So this is your A6. So what is your A7? 9 by 2 plus 1 by 2. So 10 by 2. So you get 5. That's all. So A5 is equal to 4. And A6 is equal to 9 by 2. And A7 is equal to 5. So these are the next 3 terms. Okay, students, do you understand this question? Second sum. So I am going to do the third sum. So what is your third sum? Here it is minus 1.2, minus 3.2, minus 5.2 and again minus 7.2 plus etc. So first you have to find whether it is AP or not. So what do you find? A2 minus A1. So you have to find. So what is your A2 minus 3.2? Minus of minus 1.2. So minus 3.2 plus 1.2. So if you subtract you will get it to bigger number sign is minus so minus 2. So what is your A3 minus A2? So what is your A3 students? A3 is this is A3 minus 5.2 minus A2. So that is minus 3.2. So, minus 5.2 plus 3.2. So, if you subtract, you will get 2 and this is minus sinus there. So, this form an AP because A2 minus A1 is equal to A3 minus A2. Therefore, this sequence, this series forms an AP. Okay students, this forms an AP. Now you find the value of A5, A6, A7. Because they have told uh, 3 more terms. You have to find the 3 more terms. Okay. So it is A4. Till A4 is given. So you have to find A5, A6, A7. So this is A5 is equal to A4 plus D. So this is A5 plus D. This is A6 plus D. So what is your A4? A4 is minus 7.2 plus D. D is minus 2. So if you add you will get minus 9.2. Then minus 9.2. Again you add minus 2. So you get minus 11.2. So here minus 11.2 add minus 2. So that is you get minus 13.2. These are next to 3 terms. Minus 9.2, minus 11.2, minus 13.2. This is the sum. So you have done 3 sums in this video. So you have 5 more sums to do. I will do in the next video. Thank you students.